Javante Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia was on Instagram Live together, surprisingly, out of nowhere, with Kai Senate, you know, YouTube, internet sensation, you know, the whole nine. Uh, it, it was a crazy situation to see them two on the live stream together, especially this close to a fight. Usually we don't see these things take place, but I mean, it is what it is at the end of the day. This is the biggest fight in boxing, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is a fight that a lot of people been waiting to see. Uh, this fight is a fight that is going to open the doors for many other fights. This is truly just the beginning of something special, you know, um, and these guys are going to trailblaze it. Javante Tank Davis undefeated. You already know what it is. 28 and 0. No losses, no draws. The Southpaw got 26 violent wins by the way of knockout. My man is doing his thing as he's getting ready. Hailing from Baltimore, Maryland. He's getting ready to take on King Ryan Garcia from Los Angeles. It's about to go down. It's about to get critical, ladies and gentlemen. You know Ryan Garcia. He he's he has the utmost confidence. These guys went chirping, you know, over the live stream where basically you heard you pardon me, <clears throat> you had Javante stating that Ryan Garcia was knocked out, you know, recently and this, that, and the third. Uh, but clearly, you know, some, something is something's there, you know, because they both are saying that something happened in sparring at other respective gyms. And like, like I said, it, it's crazy. But like I said, there's no proof of it, you know, to be honest, which is just all speculation. But both of them claim that they both was knocked out. And Ryan Garcia said he was knocked out by Roley Rolando Romero. You already know what it is. And anybody here rocking with flight sports know what's going on with Rolando Roley Romero. You know, we definitely rock with him here. He's got a big time fight coming up as well after this mega fight between King Ryan Garcia and Javante Tank Davis. I think we're going to start to see a lot of other, you know, situations that's about to happen. But. I mean, it is what it is at the end of the day. King Ryan Garcia is 23-0. and 0, No losses, no draws. <clears throat> Two undefeated fighters are about to take the square circle to set a new precedent, you know, in the sport of boxing. The change has come. It's been a long time coming since we finally can get what we want, you know. And then we all heard, know that it's rumors of the Errol Spence and Bud Crawford uh, rumor to be announced this weekend. So buckle up. Make sure you subscribe to Flight Sports so you don't miss any coverage because, you know, um, this weekend is going to be massive. We got a, a big time card, you know, from the prelims on up, you know. But to hear them talking on, on the thing, and then he had the kid Kai basically getting on chirping. You heard Ryan Garcia say, you know, hey man, you got your mouthpiece or something like that. Da, 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 da. He said, I got to get me one of those. <laughs> Just being funny, you know. So, I mean, so Ryan Garcia is stating that he's going to knock Javante out because he said that Roley knocked you out when he was younger, this, seven the third. And, and you heard Ryan Garcia say, so you're going to fight me now. You're going to fight the version of me now, this, that. So when I knock you out, so they're not talking about beating him. They're talking about knocking them each other out. And I know that Javante Tank Davis is looking to go for the knockout. So King Ryan Garcia know what's at stake. But give him major props for even taking this fight. Clearly, there's no bad blood here. Because if it was some bad blood, if they looked at each other as arch nemesis, they're not going to be on the Instagram Live together. Because obviously it's good for the for their fight. You know, good promo. But still, you don't need, but you, you just don't need that kind of stuff happening, you know. So they, and they look like they were a little, like I said, I don't think it's any bad blood. It's got to be a mutual level of respect for one another because, you know, both fighters at that level, you know, they could have continued to ride off, you know, into the sunset and not face much stiff competition. But they wanted to be the trailblazers. They wanted to do it first. So... They definitely deserve major props. You know, I don't want 
nobody to, to scoff at nobody. Somebody got to lose in this matchup. And Ryan Garcia is a heavy, heavy underdog. You know, so he clearly is going to have his work cut out for him. You know, so it's up to Ryan Garcia to see if he can bring it, you know, to make sure that he's formidable, you know, with everything stacked against him. You know, and Javante, he's got to be very, you know, he just got to be focused, to be honest with you. Everybody know what Tank is focused here. He's good. You know, I know that Ryan Garcia has that left hook that um, Javante Davis is very concerned about, or at least appears to be. You know, so how concerned is he? We'll, we'll have to know. Only time will tell. But I tell you what, these two will be stepping in that square circle in the coming days. And boxing will never be the same after this fight. You know, this is going to be the fight that, you know, they talk about in history. You know, for so many uh, magnitudes, you know. I just hope that the fight live up to the hype. You know, that's all I can say, man. And hopefully the fight live up to what it's supposed to be. Because sometimes we've seen that before, these big-time super fights, and, you know, it's not really what the people felt like they got they got their money's worth or whatever. You know, there's a lot of people coming out to see this fight. There's a lot of supporters of Javante, even Ryan Garcia. And I do believe they will have a slugfest out there. I don't see how this fight goes the distance. I do believe that they're just going to go all-out slugfest and last man standing going to win. You know, at some point, they're going to go in the barrage of shots. And it's going to be interesting to see who can sustain it and keep themselves, you know, on point as the other, as, as the other fighters really, you know, piling it on. But the Instagram live was something, something pretty entertaining, if you want to say so. I guess great promo for the fight. You know, Javante Davis is doing interviews before the fight. It is what it is. Everybody wants to talk to Javante Davis. And he, that, that's good that he got up with him. And that's Kai Senate. So, y'all let me know y'all thoughts on this whole encounter. Uh, these two engage in days before the fight. Um, do you agree with this or what? You know, and what really happened in Spawn? You know, um, it's so crazy. People say Spawn don't count. But, you know, as you can see right here, you know, Spawn does count. And we all know Spawn do count. You know, as much as people want to downplay it, man. You know, people don't record it, all kind of stuff. They hide the footage, everything. It should be the lost tapes. You know, some of these, some of these um, sparring sessions are legendary. But we'll never get them because we don't know who, who, who got the tape. You know, so it's just something to monitor. You know, that's so why I can let the people know. Just something that you got that you got to monitor out there. You know, because it's, it, it's crazy. But... Get ready, buckle up this Saturday. Tank versus uh, <clears throat> Ryan Garcia's Flight Sports TV. You already know.